Hi guys, my name is Shahab Matapur. I'm a Microsoft 365 and SharePoint developer. In this presentation, the functionality of the merge list columns web part will be explained. Uh, this SPFX web part enables you to select some columns from different sites and list. Uh, then uh, you can merge those selected columns and finally uh, display the aggregated column in a fluent UI detail list component. Meanwhile, administrator, I mean users with uh, full control access level can decide whether other users should have uh, 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 access to the settings of the web part or not. Uh, let me open my browser. Uh, if you uh, adding this web part in the app catalog site and adding it to a page, you uh, you will see uh, something like this. Uh, add it to the this page in the uh, web part setting. There are two main sections. The first one pertains to appearance and style of the web part, which we won't focus on. You can easily set a caption for column and change the alignment and adjust uh, font size. The next section uh, specifies uh, which kind of user can view uh, or edit uh, this web part. Uh, the second section, I mean visibility status. Uh, there are two fluent UI toggle element uh, in that section. Uh, the first one is, uh, determines which uh, type of user can uh, see the result of the uh, web part. For example, you can either choose everyone or only administrator. In this case, I will uh, set it to everyone, which means all users who have access to the, to the current site can see the result of the web part. And next one uh, will specifies a which kind of user can configure this web part, I will set it on administrators, which means only people who have full control access level can configure this web part. Uh, current user is, uh, is an administrator and uh, has full control access level, so uh, there is a primary button in the page. Uh, clicking that button reveals a panel containing some drop-downs, uh, multi-selection drop-downs. Uh, the first drop-downs allow us to select some uh, sites from our tenant. In this case, I will uh, select some uh, sites uh, which is different from my current sites. Uh, once you select a site, all lists related to that site will be accessible in the next drop-down. So I will select some list uh, in each site. Similarly, upon selecting a list, all columns related to that list will be accessible in the next dropdown. Each dropdown at least um, have one item header, which making it easy to distinguish which site and list these items are belong to. Uh, in this case, I will select um, three columns. The type of columns is, is not important at all. You can select uh, any type of column uh, as you wish. For example, lookup field, person and group, uh, choice field, date and time, etc. Uh, no problem, uh, actually. Uh, once you select desired column, uh, a button in the panel becomes visible. Uh, clicking that uh, button displays uh, all items related to the selected column in the uh, web part zone in a detailed list component, I mean. Uh, now let's examine uh, the web part from a user's perspective.
Uh, I already logged in as a different uh, user with different credential. This user uh, is uh, she has only able to edit the page and she is not a member of site owner or administrator group. Uh, As you can see, uh, there is no uh, primary button which is responsible for uh, configuring uh, this web part. Uh, in this case, uh, as she can uh, edit the page, if this kind of user try to change the settings uh, of the page, uh, they cannot do that as expected because we set it only administrators with full control access level can do that. Uh, and uh, other users can only apply some filter on a uh, detail list and just uh, see the result of the web part. And now let's explain how this web part works. Uh, it initially creates a list in the current uh, site. Uh, uh, once user clicks on the uh, show grid button, uh, uh, an encoded query will be stored in the mentioned list. The query uh, is structured as following format, uh, site ID, list ID, all selected column, which are uh, separated by pipeline character and list grid. For example, if user select some columns from uh, three different sites and list, the uh, query is structured as follow. Uh, you don't have to be worried about uh, query um, because, uh, but it is important to know because there are some uh, function in the solution uh, which are in charge of parsing query. It is important to know uh, always the result of the latest query will be um, displayed in the uh, detail list uh, component. Now let's dig into the code. At the very be beginning, uh, it, uh, this solution tried to uh, recognize if the uh, list is exist or not. If so, it tried to uh, retrieve the query. Otherwise, it will create a list and, and the rest is history in the main web part output, you can see the mm, button and uh, show panel component and grid. Uh, all uh, drop down and panel you have seen in the previous steps uh, are located in the show panel component and its children. Uh, when user clicks on the show uh, grid button, uh, all data is passed back to the uh, main component, I mean to the parent. Uh, so we have all data required to pass uh, to the component which is responsible to showing a detail list. Uh, and uh, in this uh, project, uh, I utilized a graph API to uh, fetch a uh, information from SharePoint uh, all methods that are required to get information from SharePoint are located in the graph services class. For example, uh, get all SP site is in charge of uh, fetching all site in your tenant as a drop down options. There are other uh, method in this uh, class uh, which perform similar tasks such as uh, returning all lists in a site and all columns in a list and so on. Uh, in the service section, there are some other services such as grid services, uh, which is in charge of uh, removing um, hidden column or duplicated columns. And utilities class is responsible for uh, aggregating columns and uh, uh, a parsing query. And uh, SharePoint uh, 
services uh, manage some tasks uh, such as create list and query as well as uh, saving and retrieving uh, queries i mean uh, this uh, SharePoint services uh, will create a list and column and uh, retrieving queries uh, uh, required for detailed list component. Uh, uh, let me back to the slides. And uh, this, uh, this project is publicly available on my GitHub repository with this address. Hopefully I can publish it in on the uh, SPFX sample uh, very soon. Uh, if there are any questions, I will be glad to assist you on GitHub. Thank you all for your time and attention. Thank you.